Hey VV Nation, welcome to the channel. Well, it's 6 p.m., it's Friday, it's time for the 6 p.m. video. My name is Glenn, I'm the Senior Stock Market Strategist on VectorVest here, and I love bringing these videos, and this is a video from your thinking. I asked you if you wanted to see an opportunity to make uh, some multi-bagger picks from the Russell 3000, would you be interested? You overwhelmingly said yes, so... Hopefully, I'm looking to see a lot of views on this video on the hottest indice that's going on right now. Let's start off with the home page. So from the home page, I'm looking at uh, three green lights across the top. The Dow is up 1%. The NASDAQ up 1.39%. The S&P up 1%. Everything is up 1%. The Russell 2000 up 1.28%. Volatility is down. Everything is kicking butt and taking names. Why? Well, the Fed came through and said, you know, we're looking at the data. The data looks good. We're probably going to get an interest rate cut soon. And the market's taking off. Look at this. We've been in about a channel for about a month. Look at the move over the last three days. We broke through all the headwinds that were in the market overall, trading at session highs today. And the biggest mover happens to be, one of the biggest movers happens to be the IWM. Well, how do I know that? Well, let's go take a look. Starting off with the IWM today, over the last three months, bottom left, top right, fast lane, boom. Watch the wick at the top of the candle, though. So even though the IWM is hot, look at the give back. A lot of people are giving back or taking some off the table, but we just turned to a buy on the IWM. So people here have been asking me, is the AI issue done and over with? No. Look at the SPX, S&P 500. While AI was rocking, money was rotating into the SPX or the S&P 500 and also working into the queues. They are still rocking and rolling. The AI space is not done yet. This is a little move in the Russell 2000 and I think it's going to have some weight as long as the Fed keeps hinting that we're going to get a rate cut. I think that they think in September. I don't think so. I don't think it's going to happen into December. But that's another that's another topic for another time. And then here's the Dow. Not as good as the others, but still rocking and rolling. All of the markets are rocking and rolling. But I want to concentrate on the IWM, which is the Russell 2000. But to go find my multi-bagger stocks, I needed more stocks. So I'm looking at the Russell 3000. Nonetheless, low dollar, small cap stock. So let's go into the unit search. The unit search is where it all starts. I've got to search specifically to find multi-bagger stocks. And a lot of people say, well, I can find multi-bagger stocks and I don't need vector vests. Well, I use a lot of vector vests to find these stocks and it makes sense to me. Price greater than a dollar, but price less than $20. Lower dollar stocks, all right? Relative value, the stock's upside long-term price appreciation potential on a scale between zero and two at 1.2. These stocks should outperform the market, especially if I'm looking for multi-bagger stocks. That makes sense. Earnings growth rate greater than 10%. Earnings is the engine that drives the stock's price higher. I want that earnings growth rate to be at 10% or more. And sales growth, if, uh, if earnings is the engine that drives the stock price higher, sales is the fuel for that engine. I want the sales growth to be greater than 10% as well. Very simple, and these stocks are sorted by earnings growth because earnings is one of the biggest movers of a stock's price. So I ran this search, I found some stocks, I did some cherry picking for you and came up with these stocks. Boom! Came up with six new stocks for you. Now, really five because we already have ADMA in our multi-bagger portfolio and it's already up over a hundred percent. Congratulations to all those people that took advantage of it when I first talked about it. Folks, if you want to get this kind of information and you're not a subscriber to our channel right now, right now, go down to the subscribe, to the subscribe button, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon. You'll be alerted to when I talked about ADMA as a multi-bagger pick back in January before it went up a hundred percent. My new stocks I got for you today is Upwork, New Holdings, Mankind, PXM. This is my tricky pick, R-E-L-Y, Remilty uh, Global. Uh, the stock is a little bit overvalued. It does have good upside. All of these stocks have to have good upside. The safety is not there. The RT is not there. And it's a sell recommendation. Now, look at the earnings growth. 
double-digit earnings growth, double-digit sales growth as a sell recommendation, folks, this could be primed to take off to another space. Could be going up, up and away in your beautiful balloon. All right, so ADMA is already in the list, but the search found it even in the Russell 3000. Let's talk about what new stocks I put into the portfolio. Well, let's talk about the portfolio. The portfolio of tracking my multi-bagger uh, stocks up 26%, folks. And there's ADMA since January. Look at that, 142%. It's almost two bagging. It's at least one and a half bagging right now. Uh, another stock picked up in 5.7. Uh, AC, uh, AGS up 32%. Carnival hit the list back on 5.20, up 14%. And here's the three new stocks that I picked up. Upwork, up about about three tenths. I just put it in today. Uh, Mankind, which is down about a tenth, and New Holdings, which is down about a tenth as well. But every stock that I've put into this portfolio hasn't made money. I'm going to show you something. I'm going to go to reports, go to trade history, and I've got some stocks that lost money. Look at these stocks that lost money. But how about VITL, another bagger, FIHL, 35% NU. Again, that was back in January, got out with a 14% gain in TT, DTST. Notice that the majority of my losers were manageable. This was not. Why? That was probably a big gap down. I got nothing to protect you against that. So what stops am I using on these stocks? Well, I'm glad you asked that question. The stops I'm using is a trailing 15% stop. So once you get into these stocks, these stocks should run. But if they trail 15% from the highest point that the stock has hit, it will close you out of the trade. That's it. I'm not even using the star search to get in and get out. I'm just looking at the stocks that are multi-bagger stocks based on the information that I put into the search. And I'm managing them with a 15% trailing stop. That allows the runners to run and nips the losers in the bud quick. That's it, folks. That's it in a nutshell. So I was able to come up with the multi-bagger search for the Russell 3000. Since that is such a hot indice right now, money is rotating into the lower dollar stocks. But Keep your eyes open. It may still go back into the tech and S&P 500. But if you buy any of these stocks, you have the stops to put in place. Use that trailing 15% stop. Well, folks, that's it. This video is over. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to share this to let other people know how well we've been doing in our multi-bagger portfolio and now taking advantage of the hottest indice right now to find your next multi-baggers. Folks, this video is over. Till the next time. See ya.